Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So here we share beginner-friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, um, web programming, and many more. Today, what we're going to be doing is a Scratch tutorial on a project called Five Things I Like About Nature. In this project, we're going to be creating a simple Scratch animation about five things I like in nature. And when I click on the green flag right here, the story would start. When I press on space bar, the fact number would change. So now we're on fact number one, two, three, four, and five. And in the end, we also have the DN page. So let's get started. So we are going to create a project on Scratch and you can find Scratch by going to the link called scratch.mit.edu. And to start with the project, we're gonna click on this create button right here. All right, so once our pro new project is created, we're gonna go ahead and delete the Scratch Cat Sprite right here by clicking on the trash bin um, icon right here. All right, now the next thing we need to do is add in the backdrops. All right, so we're gonna go to backdrops. All right, so once we're here, we're gonna go ahead and click choose a backdrop and choose um, our backdrop. So we're gonna go ahead with a backdrop that's more related to nature theme. So we can search up nature right there and can go ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. All right, this is my first one and I'm gonna add more until I have six in total. Okay, my second one. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose my third one. Okay, and the fourth one. Go with this one. And my fifth one. All right, okay, so I have the first uh, backdrop for my first fact, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my first backdrop because I'm going to need to make a title page. And in the title page, I'm going to write five things I like about nature. So I'm going to use my paintbrush tool right here and choose a color using this fill function. And I'm going to go with blue. All right, I can also change my pen size right here. So right now it's set at the size 10. I'm gonna make it 13. So five. Okay, and then I'm gonna choose a different color now for the letter word. Five things. All right. Now, if you're not very um, familiar with using the painting tool, you can go ahead and use this text tool as well. So when you use the text tool and you click on your backdrop, you can actually type out the words. So instead of drawing it out, just like I did, you can go ahead and type five things like so. All right, but I prefer the painting tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. All right, so five things. I like. And then again, I'm going to change. About. Nature. All right, so now we have five things I like about nature, which is our title page. Okay, so now that we have this, we're gonna go ahead to our second backdrop here to write the first thing we like, okay? So for the first fact, I'm going to use the text tool right here and type in number one, I like the smell of flowers. So that's my first fact. 
For my second fact, again, I'm going to use the text tool, choose a different color from my backdrop. So I'm going to go with maybe red and type in two. Time feels slower when I'm with nature. All right, this is number two. And then we're going to do number three. So since the background's um, more purplish, then I'm going to go with something that has a lot of contrast, like yellow, and type in number three. I get creative ideas when I look at nature. Okay, this is my fact number three. Again, I can move it around like so. Okay, maybe I'll move it to the bottom. So here, number three, I get creative ideas when I look at nature. Okay, so moving on to number four. Okay. I'm going to choose something that's a little bit different. So there's yellow here. So I'm going to switch to pink and type in four. There are the ear is cleaner and more fresh. Okay, this is my fourth fact. The ear is cleaner and more fresh. I'm going to move it here and make it bigger. Okay, the ear is cleaner. Oops, made a spelling mistake here. The ear, okay, is cleaner and more fresh. And the fifth one, okay, so it's at the beach. I'll go ahead and write number five. I like the sound of waves. Okay, so this is my fifth fact. All right, so let's go ahead and have a look. So the first one is five things I like about nature. Fact number one, I like the smell of flowers. Number two, time feels slower when I'm with nature. Three, I get creative ideas when I look at nature. Four, the air is cleaner and more fresh. And five, I like the sound of waves. Okay, now the last thing we need to do is just add the the end backdrop. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a backdrop for that. And I'm gonna go with something simple like this. Okay, for the uh, uh, the end backdrop. And for this one, I'm gonna switch back to my painting tool and choose yellow. Right, the end. Okay, so that's it with our um, backdrop design. Now the next step would be to start coding it. Okay, so to start coding, we need to go ahead and click on the code tab here to code the project. All right, and then at the beginning of our uh, project, we want to start with the title page. So let's go to the event and drag in when the green flag is clicked, event, okay, and when green flag is clicked. Now, we also want to make sure that when the story starts, we are at the correct backdrop. In our case, it would be the title page. So we're gonna go ahead to looks and choose the backdrop, uh, choose the block that says switch backdrop to, so our first backdrop is actually called backdrop one. And we're gonna connect it to when green flag is clicked. Okay, next we have to give instructions that whenever we press the space bar, the backdrop should change to our facts. So I'm going to go drag um, the event called when space key is pressed right here from events. Okay, and then I'm going to say, all right, so when space key is pressed, I want to switch to the next backdrop. Now we have completed the project, so let's click on the green flag to start our scratch animation. All right, so you can see when I click on the green flag, it brings me to the title page, which is what we want. Okay, so now when I click on space bar, it goes to the second backdrop. And then fact number two number three, four, five, the end page. And then again, when I press in spacebar, it is the title page. All right, so if you liked our project today, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our other two videos and see you next time, bye.